Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Dragon Age Origins. Alrighty, when we left off, I had said I was going to do a backtracking thing. I decided against it, and we have Alistair's sister to now visit when we visit Denerim. Well, half-sister, but... Well, that was a weird loading screen. Never seen that before. Anyway... Let's, uh, since we came out of the armorer's area, we now move on to, well, I don't know. We did the thing for Balin, so I guess report back. It's probably the best idea. So we go back to the diamond quarter, I guess. Which should be here? Yes, it is good. Glyph of Neutralization. That'd be nice. I just don't know what it's for. Oh well. Anyway. I'm sure as I head... News of the hour. Lord Balin proven to be working with surfacers. Dedication to Dwarven values question. Wow, that's... That's your angle now? Who is this? Lord Dase. Oh yeah! I ran into you down there. Thank you for your service. You're welcome. I ran into you down in the... News of the hour. Da. Grey Wardens approve of Lord Balin's plans to deal with the Darkspawn threat. Lord Haramont, adult and confused. <laughs> I mean, that's one way to put it. Uh, helped them when I was down in the Thag. That's, that's where I was at. That's the word that my brain refused to come up with for some reason. All right. Onward we go. To talk to Balin. Let him know we did the thing. The good thing. Well, you've simply outdone yourself. Thank you. They're talking all over the city about how someone finally went through Dust Town and slaughtered the Carta like Genlocks. Most of them had no choice. It wasn't fair to kill them. It's a little late to trouble yourself now. You have done the city a great service. Oh, no, that's true. I promise as soon as I take the throne, I will send the troops you need. Uh, well, when will that be? The Darkspawn don't wait for politics. Unfortunately, I cannot say when. Of course not. While many Deshers appreciate my ending Jarvia's threat, Haramon still holds great loyalty. Fair. We need something more... Dramatic to shift the balance. Dramatic? What are you getting at? What do you know of the Paragon Branca? She was a smith and inventor? Two years ago, she heard of something the ancients created. It inspired her to leave everything behind and venture into the deep roads. True. She is the only Paragon in four generations, and she turned her back on her responsibilities. Fair. The Paragon is like an ancestor born in this time. If she returned, her vote would outweigh the entire assembly. Anyone oh. with her support could take the throne unchallenged. So that's your angle. If you can bring her back and get her to support you, the throne is assuredly yours. What makes you think she's still alive? She had an entire house with her, dedicated to her protection. With the number of ruins still intact, they could last for a long time. Fair. And Haramont is looking as well. Oh. It's too risky to assume she's dead only to have him take credit for finding her. Do you think she would support you as king? I was hoping you could use your legendary charm to persuade her that the rightful king should take the throne. Legendary However, charm. However, the deep roads have addled her wits. It might be best she not return before the kingship is decided. Are you saying I should kill her? I would never say that. She is a paragon. It is my duty to protect her. On the other hand, we must respect her decisions. Should she prefer to stay in the deep roads rather than help her rightful king take the throne, we must assist her by any means necessary. I'm not sure if I like that tone. Like at all. 
But, I mean, I get the point of it. What's she like? I did not know her personally. Two years ago, I was still considered a child. Not one to consort with Orzammar's finest. Mm. From what I hear, her intellect was unrivaled. But the social graces were beneath the notice of one so gifted. Ah, eccentric. Eccentric is what you're saying. And... Autistic coded, maybe? Understandable, so. Okay. She, I might like her. Uh, I will find her for you. Then we will both go down in history as a paragon's saviors. Absolutely. So far, my men have traced Branca to Caradon's Cross, an ancient crossroad lost to the Darkspawn four centuries ago. Her trail ends there. Perhaps with your warden's expertise, you can find what my men could not. Maybe. Where is Caradon's Cross? You must enter the deep roads through the mines. Mm -hmm. To protect the city, that's the only path we leave open. Okay. Caradon's Cross lies many miles deep into the tunnels. It was once a main thoroughfare, but before Branca, no one had stepped foot there in generations. Mm. I'll leave right now to find her. You have my thanks. Seek her in Caradon's Cross. I will try to delay the vote until you return. Fair enough. Anvil of the Void. Oh, Morgan got a level up. Cool. What do we give to her? Oh, she has a specialization point, and I can... Oh. Minor combat health regeneration. That'd be nice. Hmm. That would be nice. <laughs> Extremely nice. Arcane warrior, though. That is pretty good. Dexterity and attack... I'm kind of, kind of leaning towards that, but she doesn't do that much in regards to combat. Well, I mean, she does spells, but I mean, that's obvious. Let's go with Spirit Healer. Having the health regeneration would make her an even better, you know, better mage. Can't complain about that. And let's do... Hmm. More in magic and maybe in cunning? Yeah, an extra in cunning wouldn't be terrible, especially since we're basically making her an herbalism specialist. Wouldn't be terrible. And let's see, what shall we do? Mass rejuvenation would be good. All members of the party... Instead of just one, it'd be all. That would be useful. Uh, entropy. Entropy. Death. Magic. Draws in nearby entropic energy, draining residual life force from any dead enemy nearby to heal the caster. Um, hmm. Affliction Hex would be nice. And would make enemies more... What's the word I'm looking for? Uh, <laughs> more... Uh, what's... Damn it. What's the word? <laughs> God's... Damn it. Words. English. Please. Work with my brain. Uh. More affected. There we go. <laughs> By the uh, extra uh, curses and whatnot I've put on my weapons. Uh, rather, uh, enchantments. There we go. Um, enchantments is better than curses. Uh, mainly because curses implies dark magic. But then again, this is also dark magic. I should just shut the hell up and pick a fucking thing. Um, mana drain. Sounds like it would be useful. Mana cleanse. Spell might. Hmm. Anti-magic burst. Spell shield. Hmm. 
I wonder, is there anything that I could choose that... Bonus to attack. Glyph of Paralysis. Um, spell a Wisp. Uh, hmm. hmm. Friendly fire possible. Uh, the friendly fire issue is not great. And that's the majority of my issue. Whoa. If, uh, since I did spirit healer, I can get a group heal. Healing them by a moderate amount. Oh, how could I turn that down? How could I turn that down in the slightest? Oh my goodness. How could I turn that down? Okay. <laughs> okay. Welp. That's learned. <laughs> that's good. Now we head back to the thags. We have to go back to the common area. Or is this this way? There we go. Get out of the diamond quarter, go back to the commons, and then head into the mines. Most money at once? Is that... Is that the money I have right now? Do I have all that money right on my person right now? If I could go to the right tab? Uh, no, I have 21, so... Mm. <laughs> I was about to say, if I could keep pushing that up, that'd be nice. But apparently, the highest I only had was the 49... Which I think was before I bought all of this new armor. Now that I think about it. So we go back to the commons. There we go. If the buttons would work, that'd be great. Thank you. And we head back to the mines. Presumably. That's where we go. Stranger. Have you seen a Grey Warden hereabouts? Uh, that'd be I hear me. tell that he, or was that she, you understand this was several flagons ago. <laughs> yeah, okay. Was setting out to search for Bronca on the Prince's own orders. I am the Grey Warden, and that would be he. <laughs> well, if you're the best they got, then standards must have fallen way down. Excuse but me? I suppose that would account for a human in Orzammar. Say... Could I ask you a favor? That's how you butter someone up to ask for help? Name's Ogren. And if you've ever heard of me before, it's probably all been about how I piss ale and kill little boys who look at me wrong. <laughs> that last bit's a little and weird. That's mostly true. But the part they never what do you say mean mostly? is how I'm the only one still trying to save our only paragon. And if you're looking for Bronca... I'm the only one who knows what she was looking for, which might be pretty sodding helpful in finding her. So, I heard she was looking for some ancient technology. Aye, lots of folks know that. But you don't know what, right? I know what Bronca wanted, and how she was looking. You presumably know everything Balin scouts have discovered about where she disappeared. Mm -hmm. If we pool our knowledge, we stand a chance of finding Bronca. Otherwise, good sodding luck. Well, I mean... I don't know. Will you behave yourself? It's the deep roads. I'll kill Darkspawn. Outside of that, what difference does it make? Bronca was a brilliant girl. But half the time she'd add two and two and make it 50. <laughs> you want to find her. You need someone who knows how she thinks. What makes you think you can trust me? Uh, I'm not some sodding elf maiden who sits around and waits for a passing hero to solve my problems. I'm a bloody warrior. Okay. I need to get her back. And you wouldn't be down here if you weren't trying for the same thing. Bronco was looking for the Anvil of the Void. Might have been the most important invention in Orzammar's history. The smith Carradin oh. built it. And with it, Orzammar had a hundred years of peace, while it was protected by the golems forged on the Anvil. As far as anyone knows, the Anvil was built in the old Orton Taig. Bronca planned to start looking there. If she could ever find it. 
All she knew was that it was past Keridan's cross. No one's seen that tag for 500 years. Tag. Okay, I should say tag instead, I guess. Uh, Balin gave me a map. I can get to Keridan's cross. Huh? When did we learn this info? Did I miss something while I was talking? <laughs> did I miss something? If you're married, why aren't you out there with Bronca? Why do you, Sodding, think she left me? Ran off and took our entire Sodding house on our mad quest for the anvil. I see. It was a stupid move. If I'd been with her, she'd have made it back years ago. But I forgive her. Well, let's get going. Great. Once we're there, I should be able to pick up Bronca's trail. No trouble. Lead on. Okay. Well, uh, that might change the makeup of my party a little bit. Um... Uh... But at the same time, if we're heading to where golems were made, I kind of want to bring Shale with me. Mm. Uh, I can't remove myself. <laughs> Damn it. I was hoping I could. Um, hmm. Hmm. All right, sorry, Alistair. We lost it. <laughs> gotta, I gotta bring Ogren with me. Uh... I gotta bring Ogren. He's the only one who knows where we're going. Uh, I don't want to leave Leliana though. <laughs> She's the only one who can pick locks. Uh, well, the only one who I can trust to pick locks reliably. Uh, and I don't want to leave her either. I don't want to leave more getting behind. Uh, I really want to bring Shale, though. Uh, okay, we'll accept this. Three tactic slots. Of, okay, let's let's look at what we got Ogren going for here. Um... Whoa. What is that? What is that he's got going on? Uh, skills. Oh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Berserker. Okay, the stench of blood and death drives the Berserker into a willing fury, providing a bonus to damage. Rage incurs a penalty to stamina regeneration, however, which constraint reduces. Resilience adds a bonus to health regeneration in this mode. Resilience gains a bonus to health regeneration while Berserk is active, as well as a bonus to nature resistance that applies at all times. Constraint is learned to retain control during rages, reducing Berserk's penalty to stamina regeneration. And then final blow, all the Berserker's stamina goes into a single swing. If the blow connects, the attack flick. Attack inflicts extra damage proportional to the amount of stamina lost. Wowzers. He is absolutely a tank from the look of all of this. Each time the warrior fells an enemy, the end of the battle seems closer at hand, restoring stamina, bravery, threaten, and powerful. And two-handed, which he also has a racial ability of innate resistance to hostile magic one time in ten a spell will have utterly no effect and wow <laughs> yeah he's a tank he is a tank and a half look at that sunder arms sunder armor shattering blows large damage damage bonus against golems and other constructs Powerful swings, mighty blow. Jesus. Okay. Uh, wow. <laughs> and this is the uh, this is the guy that likes booze, right? 
Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the same guy. Dwarven Heavy Everything. So he's basically on the same <laughs> playing field as me. Oh boy. Uh, Long Runner's Cap. Since he doesn't have any hat on his head, might as well give him that. Um, he has a battle axe of a red steel. That isn't too bad, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. A heavy Ferelden weapon. Why is he carrying something from Ferelden? You know what? That's not the point. I keep hitting the wrong button. <laughs> I wanted to see what his secondary was, and it's not a lot. What is this thing that he's got on his person? One for the ditch? It's a belt thing. It's a hip flask. This hip flask is missing a coat of arms. One for the ditch, a scroll <laughs> scratched around the mouth. A pessimistic view for, of where last drink will lead. The content smell vile, as does Ogren on occasion. <laughs> Adds to constitution and physical resistance, so I mean... Yeah, this guy's a tank. This guy was meant as a tank. Holy shiza. <laughs> I do like the pattern on this thing, though. Only because it looks like Tiger, but that's not the point. Uh, this guy seems pretty cool. This guy seems pretty cool. So, gift. Uh, golden Scythe. By my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift. <laughs> You're welcome. What is this? Oh, a sipping whiskey if you value your innards. <laughs> Legacy white shear seems like something up his alley. Alley King's flagon? This seems like very much up his alley. By my ancestors, this is a wonderful gift. Yep, I was right. Wilhelm's special brew. That looks fine indeed. <laughs> I'm sure it does. To you especially. Uh, the wine, Legacy White Shear. I feel like this is for him. That looks fine indeed. <laughs> well, at least you're happy about it. Can't complain about that. All right. So now he likes me a little bit, which is, you know, something I strive for. Maybe not with Morrigan as much as I would like, but, uh, <laughs> Ogren likes me and that's good enough for me. Uh, yeah, no, that's, that's fine. That's more than fine. We're good. We're doing good. Uh, these are all, yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. Okay, we're all good. Um, select tactics. Um, self any, uh, since we're going to basically be using him as a tank since he's basically coded as a tank activate threaten and bring that up to here i guess yeah the rest of this looks good enough um save it i guess um defender there we go it basically puts it all already on so then i guess we just gotta focus on putting berserker on self any and activate mode berserk and there we go and i forget what indomitable does it won't let me figure that out that's fine okay whatever <laughs> All of it, all of it basically does what I need it to do, which is good enough for me. So there we go. Yes, save. And Ogren approves plus 34. Wow. And I get a skill out of him too. Well, damn. And a hey, inspired monster, minor monster constitution. Yeah, monster constitution. Why not? Minor constitution. For some reason, my brain wanted to combine both minor and constitution, and that came up with monster. Uh, in 
Inspired by your leadership, this party member has gained a minor bonus to Constitution. Fine by me. Fine by me. All right. So, um, uh, mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, he's definitely not doing any of the things I put on his thing, though. Uh, threaten. Uh, berserk. I heard a burp. <laughs> I heard a burp. Okay, what was powerful swings? Uh, gaining a bonus to damage, but suffering penalties to attack and defense. Not worth it. Uh, indomitable. Gaining a slight increase to attack damage while being immune to stun or knockdown effects. This is a good one. And... If you must. Yeah, if I must. Which, you know, I must. It's kind of my thing. Um... Hmm... 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 Wait, I can change... I can change them on the fly and no one told me! <laughs> okay. Bye. Time to head into the deep roads again. And we head to Caradin's Cross. I wonder if I can change them on the fly while I'm in the deep roads. That's the question. Keratin's Cross. I can't believe Harrowmont actually tracked this place down. This used to be one of the biggest crossroads in the old empire. You could get anywhere from here, including Orton Taig. What's so important about Orton Taig? It's the home of Keratin, the paragon who made the animal. Oh. He was an Orton before he founded his own house. And even then, he spent most of his time in their Taig. Branca mm. figured it was the best guess for where the anvil was located. That makes sense. That makes a ton of sense. Do you know anything else about it? No one but Keratin ever really knew more than it had some kind of stone-blessed power. Mm -hmm. Every golem who ever ranged across the Empire was hammered on the steel of that anvil. But no one ever knew exactly how they were made. But Bronco was sure she could find out. Hmm. See any sign of Bronca yet? Not a one. But trust me, we will once we're on the path to the old Orton Tig. She was going to Keridan's home. So let's go. I've been waiting for someone to say that for two sodding years. So, okay. I was about to say, I did see someone over there. I wasn't sure if that was just for the... Just for the cutscene or not. And I'm not sure if they mean good or ill. But I will look at this road marker. Stand forever, guard the path, darkness grows. Yet we hold. Okay. The darkest path is filled with sorrows, yet I will stand the test. Interesting. Well, hello there, hired goons. Well, oh, boy. What we have here. Yes. Some of Balin's new toadies. Let's show them who's king. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who's king, huh? Yeah, who's king? Yeah. Who's king now? Huh? Huh? Yeah, who's king? All right. Oh, they're they're trying really hard to keep them alive. You are not. You are not getting the best of us here. You are not. Well, so much for the real king. All right. Not too bad. And. Hagrin held up his own pretty damn good, considering he doesn't have a shield. That was impressive. Actually, now that I think about it, I don't think I added... I don't think I added the new group heal to uh, Morrigan's stuff. I don't think I did that. That is... 
That is my bad. Uh, Morgan, select tactics. Um, regeneration doesn't do health. It does, does stamina. Why did I put it as health? That's, that was weird. Um, okay, ally. Um, stamina level. Uh, 25%, I guess. That's fine. Um... Usability. Where is it? Group heal. There we go. Um... Yeah, no. Group heal would affect everyone, wouldn't it? Yeah, that, that seems fine. And it would heal everyone. I don't see why not just switching out heal with group heal. So, Alright. That was first little combat with Ogryn. That didn't seem too bad. This doesn't oh, look it good. It is leering at me once again. Oh, hoosh. Did I say that out loud? Oh, boy. <laughs> I don't know what that was about, but that seems like uh, Ogryn and Morgan are going to have some problems. Well, there's blood there and bodies over there. That can't be good. And uh, these make me think that I'm going to have to take alternate routes to get where I want to go. Which is not good. Okay, so just double check what you have. You didn't have Berserk equipped the whole time. Alright, well. Lyrium Dust. I didn't expect to pick up Lyrium Dust. Not that I'm going to complain about it. Watch well. Out. There's dark spawn over there. Oh, of course there is. Of course there's dark spawn. Because it's the deep roads. Why wouldn't there be? Ow. There we go. And... Oh, he is in the middle of it. And <laughs> just not even really breaking a sweat. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, Ogren is cool. Ogren is cool guy. Ogren is so fucking cool. Oh, man. Why did I ever try to make Alistair my tank when Ogren is just like the perfect, perfect tank? Oh, my God. Oh, man. Fantastic. Oh, there's more of you, huh? Well, hi there. Interrupted? Well, yeah. Why is no one following me? Yes. Oh, you're you're in the thick of it with me. Never mind. We're all good. <laughs> We're all good. There we go. Oh, Jesus. I need to heal a little bit myself. Uh-oh. I'm in trouble. I'm in trouble. Ow. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm dead. I'm so dead. Oh, boy. That, that makes sense. Oh, and Ogren's dead. <laughs> well, we're in trouble. Okay, I got a little too cocky. I got a little too cocky. <laughs> got a little too cocky. Okay. I got a little too cocky. That's what the problem is. I got a little too cocky. Okay. Oh, boy. All right. Well. That probably hurts a little bit. There we go. Okay. 
There we go. Alright. Onward we go, somehow, with the combat. There we go. Oh boy. Hey, what? It's saying there's an enemy over here? <laughs> Where? Alright, well... Oh, that explains yeah. a bit. Cool. Alright, there's that anyway. Oh boy. Oh, there you are. Now it's better than later. You are the one who's a problem. Okay. Well, so far so good. Down they go. You're kidding. More of them popped up after? I know you're hurt. Don't worry about it. She's going to be helping you a bit. Don't worry about it. Oh, boy. You're going to keep moving out of the way, huh? I'm just going to stun you here. You're going to get stuck here. You're going to die. That's how this is going to go. I somehow managed to salvage the combat. I somehow managed to salvage it. I'm fine with this. Okay, I somehow managed to salvage it and I still don't know how. But I'm not questioning it. Fire Pit. A letter from Paragon Ajukin for his wife. I kind of want to read that. My dear Annika. I would not worry about the assembly. Let the nobles sit together and argue over whose house owns the grandest tag. It keeps them from panic keeps them from panicking, which would surely which they would surely do otherwise, and prevents them from making a greater nuisance of themselves. War is the business of warriors. I would say that the enemy's strategy seems to be changing, but they never appeared to have a strategy before, beyond destroying everything in their path. For weeks their numbers appeared to be dwindling. There was talk that perhaps we were getting close to wiping them out. We could not have been more wrong. For today we came upon the body of their main force. I cannot give words to it, Annika. I have never seen before so much death in one place. There were dark spawn beyond counting, and at the heart of the throng a great beast as tall as the palace of Orzammar, with breath of fire. A paragon of dark spawn, perhaps, for they seemed to pay it deference. They were leaving marching toward the mine shafts which lead to the surface. But I knew when I beheld them that once they have devoured what lies above us, they will be back. Well, then, we're in trouble. From the sound of it, we're in a little bit of trouble. A little bit of trouble. Oh, are you kidding me? Another genlock? How many... How many do I have to fight through here? Health Pulses, Demonic Echor. Echor. Break open these chests, because, well, that's what they're there for. Malachite. Okay, cool. Dark Spawn oh, Dagger. Yeah. Boo. Dark Spawn Mace. Boo. Like hey! I get a level up. I can't complain about that. Oh boy, do I need it. Oh! I can learn to be a Templar and a Berserker. Well, if I have the specialization points. And I can go into more than one thing. Uh, I don't see why not. Okay. Cunning up and... I guess bring up willpower. Because I don't see why not. Disengage. Um, I want to get Berserk, but at the same time, I'm not sure I want to devote time to it yet. Huh.
and I can do all of that. Okay. Uh, well, I, I'll devote time to it. Ooh! Became a veteran. I guess that's what that's for. And crushed arm. Oof. Ow. Penalty to magic. Well, I mean, not like magic was being used by me very often, but okay. All right. Cracked skull for Leliana. Penalty to cunning. Well, can't have that. And bleeding. Penalty to health regeneration. Definitely can't have that. Okay. So I guess... I'll worry about these injuries right now. Uh, All is well? Go with an injury kit for you. Go with an injury kit for you. And since it really only impacts magic, I really probably shouldn't worry. But... Might now, as well. Better than later. All right, and with that in mind, oh, I forgot I had that. <laughs> I forgot I had that attack this entire time. I'm a doofus. Okay, um, let's put on not berserk, uh, precise striking, and momentum. Right, all right. And I guess do striking. Better we could be doing killing things, perhaps. I'm giving you the ability to kill things. Relax, what? bruh. Okay, uh, let's Indeed. take off flaming weapons and put them back on, because everyone will need it reapplied. In fact, I don't think that Ogren had it applied in the first place. Now he does. Good. Um, hmm. And. What now? She needs to have aim reapplied. That's good. And I think that's it. Go on. Go on. All right. Okay. With that done, I guess we can get back into the thick of it. Since there seems to be more gen locks on this side of this bridge. Well, I'm, I'm sure there is. Oh, there's many of them. Oh, Jesus. Of course. Alright. There we go. And you are not moving any further if I can help it. There we go. And we're good. Yeah, I know. You just stepped into it, woman. Are you kidding me? You tell me there's a trap ahead and then you step into the damn trap. Are you for real? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, heavy chainmail. Red steel as well. Can't complain about that. This is the one you stepped on. So we can't disarm it. Is there any more traps that you see? Any at all? I don't see any more. At least not that way. I still can't believe she goes, trap ahead, and then runs directly into the stupid trap. <laughs> still baffles me. Oh boy. Alright. Let's just move on ahead with me as lead, because of course I am. Alright, and... Oh, more. More combat. More gen locks, because of course they are. Did I end up knocking it back without trying? Oh, is that a troll? Are you kidding me? I have to fight another troll? Really? An or ogre. Close enough. I was close enough. Alright. Alright. Ogre was not that bad. 
not as bad as I was fearing. It wasn't great, but it wasn't terrible. There we go. But if you actually moved, I wouldn't be telling you to attack. There we go. Alright. Combat done. Darkspawn Longsword. Worthless. Arrow of Filth. Maybe useful? Maybe? A little bit? Concentrated Death Root Extract. Interesting. Concentrated Death Root Extract. Not a terrible idea. And what do we got here in this rubble? On the Crosscut Drifters. You're kidding. A shriek? A shriek? And they only popped up now? After I've already killed all of their compatriots? Alright. Whatever you say. Alright. Well, we've cleared this area. About as well as we could have hoped. You know, with, you know, one death for pretty much everyone but Morrigan. <laughs> but, hey, we still managed it. We still managed it, and that is important. Some more shrieks. Okay. Fantastic. Ah, uh, there is another path. I was thinking we had cleared this area out already. Fractured stone. Deep mushrooms. Okay. So there is further in here we can go. Alright. Welp. I'm probably running into a trap. Key phrase, probably. Who knows if I actually am. Oh. Or not. Or not at all. Interesting. Some rubble on the crosscut drifters. Okay. What do we got here? On early dwarven history. Look at the low polyness of this model. Come on, look at that. Really? 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 Oh. Wait, what? It's another way out? Interesting. Wasn't expecting that. That doesn't look great. A Bronto. Oh, so they were enemies. Or at least an enemy type. Why didn't they fight me in that one spot? Also... It's near the end of the episode time, and apparently I dropped some frames at some point. So, I'll end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos, and you want to see more, click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and the only Stray Cat, playing games and doing the whole thing. <laughs> I... My brain broke there for a second. Uh, running through the Tigs once again, this time with Ogren, who is apparently a badass and a half, and just trying to find our way to Bronca so that way we can get her to support Balin, which would apparently be enough to get him the throne in and of itself. But the problem is finding her, because so far... It has been a perilous path the entire way. We'll see how long that lasts, but uh, so far we have already run into a whole host of darkspawn, and there's probably more on the way. Ow. That's going to hurt. For you. Mainly me, too. Primarily me.